Chairman. So, Senator Kennedy. <coughs> To a state. Senator, I'm, your mic's not on, Senator. I want to respond to a statement that my good friend Senator Whitehouse made. I, I don't agree with him that OPEC sets prices. I think the market sets prices. I think we see that right now. OPEC's prices were lowered when the United States of America marched toward energy independence. The market sets oil and gas prices. And what concerns me about this, this, uh, this proposal is that we're proposing basically an end result where we don't buy oil from OPEC countries. I wish we didn't have to buy oil from OPEC countries. In fact, the obvious way not to ha have to buy oil from OPEC countries is to produce our own. But if you don't put a provision in this legislation allowing America to produce its own energy and have its prices set by the market, because they're all set by the market, then all you're doing is denying the American people the energy that they need to run the greatest economy in all of human history. And if you, I know this is not the intended effect of this legislation. I'm not suggesting that. But I will tell you ultimately one consequence. If you, if there is a shortage in America of oil and natural gas, and there is, and OPEC has enhanced market power, and it does as a result, and you pass this legislation and turn the Justice Department loose, loose on OPEC, and OPEC takes the position of, well, okay, we won't sell you our product. We'll sell it to somebody else. And you don't allow America to produce its own oil and gas, then you have effectively killed fossil fuel development in the United States. Now, I know my colleagues don't intend that result. That's not what is behind this bill. But it is certainly a consequence of it. So the question is on the adoption of the